Now to the arrest of a former dog breeder. Lancaster County deputies pulled nearly 30 dogs from a woman's house this week. And it's not the first time. 70-year-old Julia Hudson was sentenced to two years probation in 2013 when state regulators found dozens of dogs in cages crusted in feces and urine. Capital Humane Society says the dogs removed from her home this week were also living in unsanitary conditions. Abby Peterson reports tonight. Abby? The Lancaster County Sheriff's Office says this investigation started back in September after a delivery man was bit by one of Julia Hudson's dogs and she was unable to provide a vaccination paperwork. They then found her alleged unlicensed breeding operation. Heartbreaking pictures show dirty animals in small cages. The Capital Humane Society says they were on Julia Hudson's property in Malcolm. A lot of dogs were uh, covered in urine and feces, uh, staining of their fur from the urine and feces. Uh, multiple dogs kind of crammed into small crates. Matt Madchero is the executive director. He says they're now caring for the 28 dogs they rescued. To my recollection, this would be the largest uh, for dogs that uh, I've been involved in in my 15 years here. Madchero says they assisted Lancaster County deputies. The sheriff's office says they originally found the animals after responding to reports of a delivery person being bit. They spoke to Hudson and tried to work with her, but when they returned to check on the status of the dogs, they say Hudson became combative and threatened deputies. They booked her for terroristic threats. I would like to say that I was surprised, but I was not. Jennifer Munson has an animal rescue organization in Lincoln. She says multiple people filed complaints about Hudson over the years. It's common knowledge that Hudson Breeders is a bad scene out in Malcolm. In 2013, Hudson received two years of probation for misdemeanor cruel neglect. She was banned from owning dogs during that time period. The Nebraska Department of Agriculture says Hudson does not have a license through its commercial dog and cat program and hasn't since that 2013 sentence. The department says it visited Hudson's property multiple times since then. And they have taken absolutely no action at all whatsoever. The Ag Department says after a visit to Hudson's property in 2019, they found, quote, that Miss Hudson only had three breeding dogs, which does not meet the statutory definition of a commercial dog operator, and there was no evidence of animal abuse or neglect at that time. Munson hopes justice is served. If she was going to change, that would have happened. The Capital Humane Society in Lincoln is asking for help now that they've taken on so many additional dogs. The executive director says it will cost them over $500 a day to care for them. There are links to ways you can help them on this story on KETV.com. Back to you.